My father was the life of the party. He was kind, <laughs> he was my role model. As the Alzheimer's started to progress, he'd forget how to take a shower, he'd forget how to brush his teeth, he'd tell the same story over and over again, and their friends stopped wanting to sit with him. That was hard, that was really, really hard. When a loved one gets Alzheimer's, you see that loved one die twice. And it's terrible for the caregivers. It's terrible for the family. This is a disease that is going to devastate us as humankind unless we can find a cure. One of the things about Alzheimer's disease that makes it so challenging to begin with is that it's occurring on top of the aging process. Because people live longer, the risk of getting Alzheimer's goes up to be almost one in five by the time you're into your 70s. Historically, neurodegenerative research has been a challenging area for the industry. Over the last few years, I feel we have entered into a new era in being able to translate science to impactful therapies. If we figure out how to actually solve neuroscience problems, which are the hardest problems, we could change the industry and the world. The company has set a great vision in the neuroscience area, it's recognizing how important this is. We have to be not just focused on our internal efforts. We've got to be looking at what's happening within the academic community, within foundations, within the NIH. We could leverage our drug discovery capabilities with all the emerging science outside the walls of Pfizer. Together we can do something that's fundamentally different and change people's lives. Collaboration is key to major breakthroughs in a disease like Parkinson's, which is the second most common neurodegenerative disease to Alzheimer's disease. One of the problems that Parkinson's patients have now is they never know how long their medication is going to last. They are sometimes afraid to pick up their grandchild or to go to the store. The way that we're envisioning this to work, with a once a day pill, they would be able to go out and do the things that they want to do. Just taking something and having it work all day would be a really big advance. We really play the role of representing the patients in the development of treatments for Parkinson's. My father's mother had it. My father's sister had it, and then my father had it. I worry that that could happen to me. Pfizer is absolutely committed to neurodegenerative diseases. We have the absolute possibility to make a difference in somebody's life, perhaps even my own life.